There's a lot of confusion around what ice baths actually do. It will help on your mental balance. And along the way, a funny thing happened to his testosterone. It went through the roof. Deliberate cold exposure can increase your overall core metabolism. So can ice baths really do any of those things? And if so, how well do they really work? Over the past six weeks, that's exactly what I've been putting to the test. Let's see if ice baths are just the latest fitness trend or if they could have some real lasting benefits. I've been listening to this Huberman Lab episode on ice baths or cold exposure. And he talks about a lot of different things that ice baths can do, but what interests me most is that they could potentially speed up metabolism. Basically what Huberman is saying is that ice baths can help speed up your metabolism, making it easier to lose weight, or meaning that you could eat more food without gaining weight. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can test this. So after doing a bit more research into metabolism and cold exposure, I decided it was time to get my baseline measurements. To do this, I had to drive down to Atlanta and measure what's called my resting metabolic rate. Essentially, this is the number of calories that you would burn in a day if you did very little physical activity. All right, I just got my DEXA scan and my resting metabolic rate done. I learned a lot through all of this. Okay, in this folder is all of the info on my resting metabolic rate. For my age, gender, height, and weight, predicted that my resting metabolic rate was gonna be 1,850. My actual resting metabolic rate was 1,905. So in other words, if I decided I didn't wanna exercise, right now I could eat 1,905 calories in a day without gaining or losing any weight. So this is my pre-ice bath measurement. For the past month, I haven't taken any ice baths. Now my plan is to do a really specific ice bath protocol for the next six weeks and then go back and get my resting metabolism measured again. And hopefully it increases over that time. Well, I'll see you guys in the ice bath. Day one was pretty hard. I'm not new to ice baths, but it had been about a month since I had taken one, so this wasn't a very pleasant experience. On day one, I started with three minutes at 39 degrees. Oh, I was cold. How does one use cold exposure to increase metabolism? We're gonna go over the protocol that I used first and then we'll explain how it works in the body. On Dr. Huberman's episode in cold exposure, he relied heavily on research from Dr. Susanna Soberg. She did a study on winter swimming, brown fat, and metabolism. In the study, they found that combining cold exposure and heat exposure were really beneficial ways to improve metabolism. So to increase your metabolism, you need a minimum of 11 minutes a week of cold exposure, about an hour a week of heat exposure, and then you want to end with cold. In other words, it's more beneficial to end with the ice bath. You don't want to take your ice bath and then go sit in a sauna to warm up because you lose some of the benefits that you get from ending with the ice bath. And then when you get out, you want to continue to shiver for a while. This is because shivering releases a molecule called succinate, which helps activate brown fat. So for the past six weeks, I've done five 15 minute sauna sessions per week, each of those followed by a three minute ice bath. After the ice bath, I try to let myself mostly dry off through evaporation. I do this to maximize my brown fat activation. Okay, what is brown fat? When you first get into cold water, your body starts to freak out. A chemical neurotransmitter called noradrenaline is released, which triggers your body's fight or flight response. Think about this from a survival perspective. If you were to sit in 30 degree water for hours, you would probably get hypothermia and die. So your body kicking you into fight or flight is a good thing because it helps you get out of a potentially dangerous situation. Noradrenaline acts on brown adipose tissue or brown fat. Brown fat is very different from white fat or what we typically think of as body fat. It breaks down glucose and other fat cells to help create heat. Here's Dr. Huberman explaining the difference between the two. Beige fat and brown fat acts as sort of a furnace that can increase core body temperature. White fat doesn't burn many calories. It's basically a storage site. It's a bank account for energy. So beige fat and brown fat is very good at raising our metabolism and helps burn white fat. So the idea is that by consistently taking ice baths, you increase the amount of brown fat in your body. So by having higher levels of this tissue, you're gonna be burning more calories at baseline than you would if you had lower levels. By ending with the ice bath, you're forcing your body to use that brown fat to warm itself up instead of relying on the sauna or a warm shower or the hot tub to warm you up. The first two weeks of ice baths were pretty tough. By week three, 40 degrees wasn't as hard to get into, so I started to add more ice. By week six, I was getting the ice bath down to about 37 degrees Fahrenheit, and occasionally I'd sit in the ice bath for an extra minute. After six weeks of ice baths, did my resting metabolic rate actually increase? To find out, last week I drove back down to Atlanta and got my RMR done. Now, this folder 
contains the results. Okay, so this time my predicted resting metabolic rate was 1,873 calories. My actual resting metabolic rate was 2,079 calories. Here, check this out. Yeah, I probably won't show that. It's got my date of birth and email and everything. So after six weeks of ice baths, I beat my predicted resting metabolic rate by 11%. And over that six weeks, my resting metabolic rate increased by 9.1%. So in just six weeks, I increased my resting metabolic rate by about 180 calories per day, which in my opinion is fairly substantial. That's like 500 grams of broccoli. Now, obviously there are other benefits to ice baths that I experienced over this six week period. On the days that I took ice baths, I felt way more alert and way more mentally clear and I just had more energy throughout the day. Now, something I didn't really talk about in this video is heat exposure. I recently made an entire video about one of the crazy benefits that you can get from heat exposure, so if you wanna watch that, check it out here. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.